At Brighton Hill Community School, the head teacher likes to surprise pupils with his colourful Christmas outfits. What I'm noticing is no one else got the memo about the fancy dress. What he's less cheerful about is Christmas surprises from the Department of Education. Today he learned many of his pupils won't now be back to school immediately after Christmas holidays and they'll need online teaching. We'll make it work. It's just difficult when we're breaking up tomorrow and then we get these things dropped on us just before we break up for the Christmas holidays. Um, so, we, you know, we're going to have to spend a, a fair bit of the Christmas holiday working on, uh, on the plans for, for when we return. But we're used to that now, unfortunately. <laughs> Apart from those taking A-levels, GCSEs and vocational exams, all secondary school pupils will study at home for the first week of school next term to help teachers adapt to the new COVID testing programme. I think it's better because it just prevents the possibility of... Uh, COVID spreading. Presumably you prefer to be able to come in? Definitely, just because you've got the face to face with a teacher but it, you can still easily get hold of them when you're at home. But what a year in education, often setting schools against the government, from grades being decided by an algorithm to the government U-turning on that decision, to heads complaining of poor communication, now more anxiety over Christmas. And this in the week the government threatened to sue Greenwich Council for advising schools to switch to home learning to reduce the spread of Covid. A few days ago you were threatening to sue councils for saying a very similar thing. Yeah. Well, what we were seeing is we're, we're seeing the opportunity to roll out mass testing. This is the largest mass testing programme that this country has ever seen before. But by doing this, by rolling out this mass testing programme throughout secondary schools and colleges, it means that children are going to be in the best possible position to maximise the amount of time that they're in the classroom. But one senior Conservative MP disagrees with the decision. If we're not careful, if we keep having children out of school, we will face an epidemic of educational poverty. And the groups that will be particularly hurt are children from disadvantaged uh, back backgrounds. Every day that there are schools are closed across the country, every, uh, it's worth thousands and thousands of years of lost learning. Just one day of national closures. The National Education Union has described the decision as a panic, but they feel the government should have given all children the week off to give schools time to train staff for the testing programme. There's a government saying that volunteers should do it, including parents and governors. Well, you're going to need the first week of next term to get those arrangements in place. Why have they waited until now to make this announcement? It's simply inexplicable. It's bad government. It feels like a last-minute lurch in the face of rising COVID cases in this age group, but also a reminder that 2021 will have its share of disruption and restriction. Jason Farrell, Sky News.